ever feel like just drowning in homework like seriously it's relentless imagine though just imagine a robot right and it could just take over those late night research paper death marches you'd be like free <laughs> well that's kind of what we're diving into today all about those homework helping robots we've got these excerpts right from this really interesting discussion to totally different viewpoints but don't worry you get the good stuff the takeaways without like becoming an expert on robot arguments so first up we've got um Ryan, he is all in, like leading the robot revolution. And he starts strong, talks about efficiency, which I mean, haven't we all been there? Those all nighters just to keep up with assignments. Ryan's like, what if, what if those robots could like free up that time? You could actually like dive into the stuff that really matters. It's true, right? This whole maximizing time thing, that's not new. Think about it. Remember back in the day, calculators, people freaked out, thought they'd destroy math skills, but look, they're essential now. This could be the same deal. These robots, maybe they're learning partners, you know, enhance what we do, not replace us. Right, exactly. And get this, Ryan doesn't stop there. Mm. He's talking about robots tailored to you, like your learning style. Say you're a visual learner, right? Your robot tutor, it whips up diagrams, visualizations, instead of just like word vomit everywhere. See, now that's what I'm talking about. That personalized education thing, huge. What if, and this is big, what if it levels the playing field? Everyone, no matter their background, gets that kind of support. Yeah. That's, that's something else. Yeah, absolutely. But okay, got to bring in the other side. Mm -hmm. We've got Rita. She's waving that caution flag and it's valid. Right. What about like becoming way too reliant on these by college? It's not just checking boxes, right? Yeah. It's about critical thinking, problem solving, all that. Robots can't. Well, not yet anyway. Exactly. Are we going to have a generation that just outsources their brains? And what happens when they need to figure things out on their own? It's that struggle, that whole process of figuring it out. That's how you learn, how you grow. And it gets deeper, right? She brings up this economic disparity issue. We already see it in education, right? Mm -hmm. So will these robots, at least at first, be another one of those luxury things only some can afford, mm -hmm. making that gap even bigger? It's a real concern. If tech is going to be more and more a part of education, we got to make sure it's benefiting everyone. And beyond that, even Reed is big on this, that human connection. Can a robot get what you're going through? Give you the kind of like, advice mentorship that a real person can that's the thing right can an algorithm really make you love learning the way a great teacher can exactly it's that guidance the connection it's about wanting to learn not just being fed information and you know rita she keeps coming back to that human element right like real learning it's messy sometimes you struggle you might even totally fail but that's how you grow can a robot get that yeah it's like what is learning right we learn by messing up those moments where you're like ah and then suddenly it clicks. Can you get that from a computer screen? It's a big question, especially with all this tech coming out. And then there's the thing. No one's really saying it, but we're thinking it. These homework robots, someone's going to use them to cheat. Like <laughs> straight up. If yeah. it's the robot writing your paper, is it really your work? Oh, yeah. This is where it gets kind of ethically messy. Using a tool versus like full on plagiarism. It's a blurry line. We got to figure that out as a society. Like what does academic integrity even mean when AI is in the mix? And think about it practically. OK, robot writes a paper. Professor flags it. Plagiarism. Who's in trouble? The mm. student the robot programmer, the school for even letting this happen. It's a mess waiting to happen. Totally. It's about who's responsible, who's accountable. Are we going to have my robot do it as a real defense? And if that flies, what does that say about us, about like what it means to actually do the work? Well, it's weird, right? Like we push boundaries, always got to invent. But then those ripple effects, mm -hmm. especially with education, you got to be ready. For sure. It's not just the tech itself. It's us, how we use it, how it fits into schools, everything. It takes real thought being open-minded and being ready to adapt, you know? So we've looked at both sides now, right? These homework robots, they can make learning personal, more people could access it, we'd have more time to learn deeply, but then could be more inequality, too much reliance on bots, and maybe we lose what makes learning, like, humanly awesome. Yeah, and that's the thing, this isn't like a simple yes or no, this tech, it's complex. We need to think about it that way carefully. So where are we? We've got these robots, crazy powerful but a whole bunch of questions right it's kind of cool though when you think about it it's not really about robots and algorithms you know it's us our values what we hope for even our fears about education like what should it even be in the future totally it's like we were at this fork in the road right one way we go full robot 
Learning's personalized, more people can access it. We've got time to actually learn. But the other way, maybe things get more unequal. Mm -hmm. We forget how to think for ourselves and something's lost. You know, that human part of learning. And it's like all tech, isn't it? It's about balance. Using what's good, but not forgetting what makes us good learners, too. Right. Like instead of robots replacing teachers, it's how can they help teachers be even better, more inspiring, better at guiding us, all that. A hundred percent. This isn't about picking sides. It's about talking about it. Education's future, it's not set in stone. We decide that together. Exactly. So no easy answers, but a lot to think about. Next time you see robots taking over schools, remember, it's not that simple. There's always more to the story.